equal to banking a legit. He's good all the time. Hey, man, he's good all the time. Praise God. So let's start out this way. Uh, James uh, chapter three and verse 14 and 18. I want to start off by reading that. Uh, James chapter three, if you have your Bible. And today we're going to talk about wisdom. James chapter three, because the Bible says wisdom is the principal thing. Uh, and all you're getting, get understanding. But he says, get wisdom. Get wisdom. And and we need to know what that is. It doesn't need to be this like spooky kind of thing. But we need to know how to uh, how to tap into wisdom. You know, uh, uh, Creflo Dollar Man, um, we don't have time. It's no time. It's zero time. You know what I'm saying? Zero time. The devil was loosed out of his prison. You know what I'm saying? 1986. You know what I'm saying? That's just a few years back. You know what I'm saying? So I don't want him to keep up with us. You know what I'm saying? So I don't need him teaching through you. You know what I'm saying? Because anything you teach is against heaven's rules to let any novice newbie that ain't died to come up here you know what I'm saying run anything or teach anybody to run anything you can't even teach up here Creflo Dollar neither you T.D. Jakes neither you Bill Winston neither you Tony Evans because what y'all know is marriage and we teach non-marriage no marriage in heaven we angels not earthly beings you know what i'm saying so you know uh i know you trying to keep you know your uh world's changes nation world changes nation you know i know you trying to keep your world changes nation but uh you gotta you know step down son you know what i'm saying and let world changes nation know it's folded up you know what i'm saying we don't have churches made with hands we don't have synagogues in heaven period because that's the seat where satan dwells we don't build synagogues in heaven. I heard somebody on Berean show say, if Jesus don't return, where we gonna have the feast at? Where we gonna eat the Passover? Man, shut the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no Passover in heaven. Ain't no religion in heaven. Ain't no synagogues in heaven. Ain't no church on each corner. Those are synagogues, the seat where Satan dwell. You know what I'm saying? So we don't have church service like y'all would on earth in heaven. We don't have a whole bunch of broken pieces of crackers. You know what I'm saying? And we don't take grape juice and put it on our tongue and suck the juice out of a little cup. You know what I'm saying? We don't do that. <clears throat> we drink wine and have dinner. You know what I'm saying? Have lunch, supper, breakfast. And Paul even said, don't you have houses to eat in? Don't you have homes to drink in? I think you need to go and restudy that instead of trying to teach the wisdom of God. Creflo, you don't, you're not qualified to teach the wisdom of God, Creflo. That's, that's the honest to God truth. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to show you why. All right, James chapter 3, verse uh, 14, and I'm going to read 14 through 18. He says, but if, uh, if you have bitter envying and strife in your heart, uh, glory not and lie not against the truth. This wisdom descended not from above, but is earthly 
and sensual and devilish. So now. Okay, now what you gonna say after that, Creflo? So now what? What you gonna say? Because that's exactly what you is. You envious. You jealous of Adam and Eve. You talk about them all the time. They always your downfall. <laughs> they the ones who disobey God and cause the fall, remember? Every time you speak of Adam and Eve, it's, it's just to say that they was the ones that caused the fall. You know what I'm saying? The judge, the mother and father of heaven and earth. You know what I'm saying? The first mother and father of heaven and earth. You know, Jesus wasn't no first one born. Jesus didn't give me the light. Adam gave me the light. Adam, A-T-O-M, A-D-A-M, gave me the light. Not no J-E-S-U-S. It was G-Z-U-Z. -Z. Us G's. Not Jesus. And it's just the manual. Not Emmanuel. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? See, you can't teach heaven. Nothing. Creflo Dollar. The scripture is going to make a difference between uh, the devilish. This, the scripture ain't going to make a difference between nothing. This the old devil. The scripture can't make a difference in nothing. The scripture is tampered with. It's polluted bread. It's poison. You know what I'm saying? It's uh, it's poison. You know what I'm saying? It's you know expired. You know what I'm saying? It's nothing but judging and accusing. You know what I'm saying? So you really don't know what you're talking about, son. You know what I'm saying? You just you know going as you go on an earthly, carnal, devilish mind. That's not welcome in heaven. You can't honor your mom and daddy. And you can't even get on your knees and apologize. You don't repent. And what is the first thing Jesus taught you? Love your, love God with all your heart, mind, body, and soul. And your neighbor as yourself. And then he also taught you to honor your mother and father. You know what I'm saying? I said, and my thing was. Uh, I'm going to turn the hearts of the fathers back to the children and I'm going to turn the hearts of the children back to the father unless I set the earth with a curse you know what I'm saying so you know there you have it you know what I'm saying there you have it wisdom or earthly wisdom and then the wisdom that comes from God so he says, for where envy and strife is, there is confusion and every evil work. But the wisdom that is from above, that's what we want, is first pure, then peaceable and gentle and easy to be entreated, full of mercy and good fruits, without partiality, without hypocrisy. Okay, how you going to get mercy, Creflo Dollar, if you don't give mercy? And that's the first thing Jesus told you when he taught you to pray. And you ask the father to work his will. And the father is Adam, by the way. The one that you persecute. Destroy. Desire. Deserve. And be ungodly. Toward. You know what I'm saying. So, you know. Like I say. You know what I'm saying. How can. You know. You get wisdom from God. If God is Adam. Creflo Dollar. And you don't like it. You see, and the fruit of righteousness is sown in peace of them that make peace. But like I say, how how can you get grace, Creflo, without showing grace or giving grace? And how can you receive mercy, um, uh, mercy if you're not merciful and graceful? How can you receive mercy and grace? If you're not merciful and graceful, first off, like I say, when you learn, you know, the prayer to God to work his will on earth as it is 
in heaven and y'all got in y'all's Bible in earth <laughs> like we live in earth as it is in heaven yes in heaven is right but that in earth wasn't right and then you know when I pray you know, I always say on earth you know cover my own ass but then like I say we work our will in heaven as it is I mean in on earth as it is in heaven you know, we can't work it in heaven as it is on earth because this shit ain't nothing killing and stealing and destroying going on on earth. You know what I'm saying? Judging and accusing. You can't kill, steal, and destroy without doing that. You know what I'm saying? You can't sabotage a man or steal his money or keep him from getting money or disobey God and not give him money. Now, that's what you did. You disobeyed God, didn't you? Adam told you to give him $5,000 and $5 million. You didn't do it. You said you didn't hear God say that and lie. You know what I'm saying? So that's a disobeyment of God, ain't it? And you say Adam and Eve disobeyed God a long time ago. Shouldn't I get you for for that? And I ain't going to give you shit for killing Jesus. That's murder. You know what I'm saying? That man ain't do nothing to y'all. That man came to teach y'all. I sent my son that God so loved the world that he sent his son that Whosoever believe in him, his teaching. Not the fact that he died for you, lying and shit like that, then murdered that man. And then I told y'all when I sent him, I said, I'm going to send my son since y'all killing my servants and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Then I sent my son, I said, you know, I know they going to reverence my son. You know what I'm saying? They already know what they did to him. And then they say, you know, uh, he's the son. That's the heir. Let us kill him and steal his inheritance. So why would I give you Adam's wisdom? Dumbass. You know what I'm saying? Why would I give you Adam's wisdom? So you can mock him and say, Jesus did it, Jesus did it, Jesus did it. I don't need you preaching that. That's suicide to Christ. You know what I'm saying? That's polluted bread. That's poison in the, in the, in the ears of a child angel. You know what I'm saying? I don't need you teaching in heaven. Now, so this again is is making a distinction between uh, the wisdom which comes from above versus um, uh, the 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 earthly wisdom. Now, let me read that in the Amplified again. Okay, I ain't gonna let you read nothing in the Amplified until I tell you this. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no wisdom. Until you apologize, repent means to feel sorry for what you've done to people. And you judged Adam and Eve and said they disobeyed me. That was a lie. They was deceived. The devil talked to them. You can't eat nothing and be defiled and, and the whole world be defiled because you ate something. You got to look at something and judge it and accuse it. And Cain accused Abel of having something better than him. And he was jealous and envious like you. Like you was of Adam. Me. <laughs> Little Adam. You know what I'm saying? Big Adam too. Because all you do is judge and accuse him and mama. You know what I'm saying? They ain't got a chance. In your world. On your star. You know what I'm saying? Your star gonna fall. If you don't apologize to Adam and Eve. And all the rest of the apostles and stuff that you disrespected. You know what I'm saying? We need help up here. We need people to be godly. Being God is, is, is doing God. And that's being love and being graceful, being merciful and being charitable. And we don't call it work. We just partner with each other. You know what I'm saying? And love one another and share with one another and give to one another. You know what I'm saying? And give life to one another over and over again for eternal life. Happily ever after, we're not murmuring and complaining like you do and talking about somebody got a fault and somebody caused the fall when they didn't. The devil caused the fall but telling them that they that, that God didn't want them to know what he knew. That would cause the fall. The devil said that God had something that he knew that made Eve, you know, wonder what is the wisdom of God. Like you trying to, to get and you don't even know. Not to judge and accuse. So you will go out there and the first thing you're going to do is eat somebody's gossip. 
eat somebody's slander against Adam and Eve, and then you're going to be on your way to judging and accusing in heaven and fuck us up again. You ain't messing up my kingdom, man. Again, because I really want you to get that. I hope I'm not confusing you. Verse 14 says, but if you, ha if you have bitter jealousy, you. envy, and contention, rivalry, self-ambition in your hearts, do not pride yourselves on it, thus be uh, defiance of and false to the truth. Uh, this wisdom is not such as come, comes down from above, but this wisdom is earthy, earthly, it's unspiritual, even devilish. For wherever there is jealousy and envy and contention and rivalry and sip, all of that stuff is a part of earthly wisdom. But then there's a wisdom which is from above. You don't know the wisdom which is from above because you, all your heart is filled with all the wisdom that you just explained. That's earthy. That's the only wisdom you got. How can you, if you don't believe Jesus when Jesus told you to get on, get in me, hide in me, accept me and my daddy, you know what I'm saying? Because he here, 1 Corinthians 15, 24, don't say another like what you be saying. Jesus this, Jesus that, Jesus this, Jesus that. Jesus did it, Jesus did it. I don't hear nothing about Jesus. In no First Corinthians twenty four, because it says Jesus gave us all the power and authority and all glory and all that back, so we can put our foot down on people like you. You know what I'm saying? Come on, man, big, and then gonna talk about. So the what Lord. we want to look at is how do we make a distinction between the earthly wisdom and the wisdom that comes from uh, above? There is a difference. There is a difference between earthly wisdom and Teach the wisdom that comes Teach from Teach above. All right, to Teach tap into God's wisdom. So that's what we want to Teach learn. How do we tap into God's Apologize wisdom? Apologize for judging to tap into and accusing God's wisdom. Devil. We must first of all, Talk to here me. it is, Talk to me. desire it. <laughs> do you remember the excitement Ooh. of buying your first home? It can be exhilarating. Desire the wisdom of God. Desire my wisdom. Desire my wisdom that's the first thing he said desire my wisdom i can't believe that you don't know what it is nerve-wracking and stressful you know all at the same time my wife maria and i we see them stumbling blocks he don't even he wanna you know stumble and fall in you know what i'm saying he don't he want us to stumble and fall teaching my kids to desire god or deserve god he if he ever say de deserve, oh, I deserve. It's, it, you don't deserve. You ain't going to deserve my heaven. And you ain't going to desire my God. You know what I'm saying? Come on now. Come on now. Come on now. Get my page back. Get my page back. Trying, trying to go off. Shit, no. Uh, get my page back. Don't start over now. Shit, shit. We in the middle of it. Come on now. Come on now. Oh man, no more connection. Huh? Y'all see that? Y'all see that? No more connection. I'll see y'all later, man. I'll see y'all later. Let me see if it'll come try it one more time. Try it one more time. There it is. Give him time to think about what he's saying. You know, because he ain't apologizing. Man, that's the, that's uh, the first thing above. he needs There to is knowing. a difference. Yeah. There is a difference between earthly wisdom and the wisdom that comes from above. All right, to tap into God's wisdom. So that's what we want to learn. How do we tap into God's wisdom? To tap into God's wisdom, we must first of all, here it is, desire it and mm -hmm. ask God for it. All right, so to tap into God's you can't desire my word and I'm not going to give it to you. So don't ask me for it to desire it. You know what I'm saying? That's wisdom. First of all, See, he don't know the wisdom of God. The wisdom of God is first look out for fucked up it. words. So pause right now. Do you desire the wisdom? Hell no. Above? Hell no. Y'all don't desire your God. 
I never desire your God. This nigga talking about he desire God. He desire the wisdom of God. I desire the wisdom. He desire the wisdom of God. He desire. I just tried to. I've been trying to teach him all week, all year since 2008. That desire is a stumbling block. And that's desiring the word of God, trying to take the and and you know crucify the word of God over and over again with stumbling blocks like desire and deserve and godlessness over godliness. Come on, man! <laughs> Terrible teacher, y'all. Dumb that comes from God and and the wisdom that comes from God it's like it's first of all wisdom is knowing what to do when you don't know what to do and I want to know from God what to do I, I don't want to know from from the world what to do I want to know from God what to do you, you see the difference there first you got to respect God Adam God and first you got to understand that he was deceived by the devil he wouldn't he didn't disrespect God. He didn't disobey God. He was deceived. But and his wife was deceived. She didn't transgress nobody. She didn't they wasn't the cause of no fall. They didn't disobey God. That's the first thing you gotta do is first stop trying to desire Adam and Eve. And learn to love Adam and Eve before you die, Criflo Dollar. So when you're born again, I can get you a fresh little new name and all that. And God will have a new name and you'll get a crown on your head and you'll wed forever and ever and ever. After you're born again, though, I can't bring you up here with that fleshly teaching. Teaching about earth and earthly wisdom. <laughs> and it ain't nothing but the devil. And you ain't even teaching it right. Because the first thing you're supposed to say is the devil got kicked out for judging and accusing. And we received salvation. And, and we all screamed and shouted. Salvation, honor, glory, and the, and the kingdom of our God. You know what I'm saying? For the, for the accuser of the brethren has been cast down. You know what I'm saying? And you don't teach that, Criflo. You ain't teaching the devil is the accuser of the brother. You steady accusing. So if you can't dethrone the devil by, you know, uh, you know, uh, 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 what's that word that y'all use? Uh, uh, what's that word that religion used to cast out demons or whatever? Or, uh, uh. If you in an organization, they want you to uh, uh, resign and and cast them out. Uh, what's that called, y'all? Um, man, when when people uh, stop doing something and they say they don't want to never do it no more, uh, and they go against it and make a vow to not do it. What is that word, man? Golly, I can't think of it now. Because it's, it's way far from me. It's way far from me. I ain't going to blame the devil on that. I'm trying to think about too much stuff. You know what I'm saying? But I ain't going to mess with Creflo no more. But uh, I'm going to see what he, if he asks for that wisdom. And so I, I first of all desire it. That's what I want. That's what I'm going to pursue. That's what I'm after. I want the wisdom that is from above. I want the wisdom that comes from God. Now. So, if you desire the wisdom that comes from God, uh, here's the second part, ask for it. Ask God for it. Father. Now, why would, and you saying Father, and you don't know the Father is Adam. You just said the other day or today that the Father is not Adam. The Father is God, and that's Jesus' daddy. God is Jesus' daddy, and you all fucking wrong. You know what I'm saying? That's your problem. You don't listen. And you, you you beef yourself up with all them airplanes and shit and went and lied to a whole bunch of people and and 
and beefed up the kingdom of, of hell, uh, the kingdom of the devil, so damn high up in the sky that you can't even come back down and see that God is heaven. God is not no devil that accuse and judge and all that. You know what I'm saying? You don't ask the Father for something you're going to take in. And I don't give pearls to swine. Did, did you get that lesson? Don't give pearls to swine. I can't give nobody that's going to judge and accuse people the wisdom of God. Come on, man. That's sacred. Give me the wisdom to do such and so, such and so. Give me the wisdom to do that. And I ask you for it right now, and I believe I receive it. So you want the wisdom that Adam just told you about. But you don't want to ask Adam and apologize to Adam and get on your knees and say you sorry for the stuff you did. Man, I can't give you that, Cruflo Dollar, man. I can't give you that. Jesus' name. And so I'm asking God for wisdom to to handle this business. And I can't give you I can't give you nothing in Jesus name. What you saying in Jesus name? You ain't you ain't even come to me right. You supposed to say in the name I mean, you supposed to say this Adam. This Adam, you know what I'm saying? This you Adam. I'm talking to you. As you. That's what you supposed to be saying cuz Jesus said keep them through your own name those that you have given me so they may be one as we are so when you mumbling that under your mouth stuff you know about jesus you know what i'm saying in the name of jesus man i don't consider that saying this jesus and i don't consider this jesus being this adam and that's what he left you in the name of adam that's why i say when people come to you saying they in the name of jesus you know, and uh, Jesus over there, or Jesus over there, and they saying in the name of Jesus too. Don't go over there, don't go over there, and leave his ass too, because he's saying in the name of Jesus or in Jesus' name, and they not really us. They imitators. You know what I'm saying? Nothing but potatoes. You know what I'm saying? Imitators. Let me get off this thing, man, fool. You know, I'm gonna get off this thing messing with Crip Flow, man. Let me see who who on here. You know what I'm saying? And who talking might be something interesting. I just waste my time with Crip Flow. He big and man for something that he gonna mark it and turn around and, and chew up and judge and accuse folk and judge and accuse me and teach my people to messed up stuff about me and then ask him for wisdom. You know what I'm saying? Come on now. Someone is betraying you in a big way. I know it. I know it. Trying to get what I got and then do it with Well, guys, me. welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys for liking and sharing and subscribing to my channel. Uh, yes, it means a lot to me, guys. I'm here to talk with the gentleman. You know, first, let's take a deep breath together, guys. Here we go. Oh, Lord. Oh, my toe. You know, I am healthy, I am wealthy, and I am wise. Believe that, chosen ones. You are, guys. Chosen ones, listen, guys. There's somebody, you know, very close to you, chosen ones, who is betraying you in secret. Secretly. Yes? It's always somebody close to you, guys, because, you know, it can't be you. You know, I, Lord, rebuke whoever out there to sabotage us or betray us. You know what I'm saying? Send all that evil wickedness and all that back to where it's thought up. And send it back to that heart. If you have to stop that heart from beating, breath of life, so be it. You know what I'm saying? But you judge in a godly, heavenly, holy ghost, pops ghost judgment. You know what I'm saying? And I'm talking to the air I breathe. Take care of all wickedness and all evil and sickness and disease. Heal the world of wickedness. Get it out of here. This God. You know what I'm saying? So I don't want to hear nothing about people betraying nobody no more. Man, shit, just rebuke it. Rebuke it. My 
so I heard some witchcraft coming out of Creflo Moff then because he was asking for what I was saying. When I was was talking and teaching, he was asking God for what I was talking and teaching, for the power and wisdom to teach what I was talking and teaching. So, you know what I'm saying? Hope he remember that when he pass away and then become a new baby and be born again because you can't get that and live like we gonna live you know what i'm saying because you still see us as people who disobey god and we don't judge each other like that up here it's time for a new thing show sure, yeah. you it my toe hurt This is your vacation without a proper internet connection. And this is how it could. What's up, Collective? It's Kev, Intuitive Kev, and I'm back to do another reading for the Collective. How's everybody doing today? Hopefully, great. Spirit, we ask that you continue to guide us and protect us. We ask that you give us insight and guidance to our current situations. We ask that you lift the veil of falseness and reveal that which is hidden from us. And we thank you for your blessing, your wisdom, your power, and your work in our lives. Thank you, Spirit. So, you guys know the name of the game. We're going to get into the cards. We're going to see, you know, who's all in our energy, uh, anything that we don't see coming, anything we need to be aware of, any updates or progress on our current situations, the usual. Hopefully, everybody's doing great. Um, I took a couple days off. My energy was just like a little bit razzled. So, uh, I took a couple days off. Uh, I miss you guys, but I'm back. Uh, I'm going to pull three cards for overall energy. Queen of Wands in reverse. Brilliant, talented, independent, controlling. There's nothing you can't do. Believe in yourself. Never underestimate your abilities and make your dreams come true. The need for balance between career and personal life. It's the Queen of Wands. I normally don't take reversals, but it did come out reverse. So the Queen of Wands. Ten of Pentacles. Financial security for yourself and your family. Inheritance or retirement and contentment in life, honoring family traditions, pride in the family tree, passing on knowledge to the pinnacles. And the lovers in reverse. <laughs> Embrace true love and deep intimate friendships. Make choices from the heart. Vibrant health or recovery from an illness. It was the lovers in reverse. Bottom of this deck, we have two of pentacles in reverse. Working too hard or multiple jobs, the need to bring balance and fun into your life, juggling multiple priorities, balancing the budget. Two of pentacles in reverse. So right off back, I mean, we have this karmic film for overall energy. Uh, we have this lover's contract that is null and void for overall energy. We have this ten of pentacles that everybody has been focused on. Everybody else is worried about except for the person it belongs to. And uh, yeah, uh, two of pentacles in reverse, you know. This is funny. It's funny. It's just funny. <laughs> All right, I did pre-shuffle this deck. I'm using my deck today. I did pre-shuffle this deck. Uh, give it one more go. Then we're going to get into it. All right, let's get into it. Knight of Cups, reverse. The world, in reverse. Nine of Wands. Tower. The Empress, in reverse. Swords in reverse. The devil in 
will burst. Hater. Ooh, two of cups, one burst. Three of cups. I feel like <laughs> is the knight of cups in reverse you know the knight of cups is somebody making a love offer you know coming in in reverse either they don't have good intentions making that love offer or you know um it's an empty offer that cup is empty you know what should what should what should be a cup of love it's an empty cup the knight of cups in reverse is clarified by death in reverse three of pentacles Ten of Swords in reverse. And King of Pentacles. So there is someone that wants to make a love offer. You know, they want to come in. You know, they probably don't have, you know, the love. They probably don't possess the love, you know, enough love to fill this cup. So they're coming in with the empty cup. They want to make a love offer because they don't want a permanent ending. This is something. Okay, now listen up, young man. I don't know about your tarot card reading. It's, it's really, I don't really like men to be tarot card readers. Men tarot card readers are ungodly, and that's devilish. You know what I'm saying? You sitting there giggling and laughing while you reading the cards. You know what I'm saying? That's disrespect to the Holy Spirit, blaspheming God. And then you sitting up here talking about... uh you know uh whatever you talking about it's in an evil way that the cup of love is empty from god and god is coming to offer y'all an empty cup of love you know what i'm saying an empty cup of no love that's what you telling us you know what i'm saying you saying god ain't got no more love you know what i'm saying that's what you saying but love is just like anything else. You let you let you love something, you let it go. And if it come back, then it really love you. And my commandment was love God with all your heart, mind, body, and soul. God is the air you breathe, your breath of life. You know what I'm saying? Your all to do is God. And God is love, full of love. And you're alive. You say he's a cup with no love. You know what I'm saying? Died for you too many times. People like you killed us. You know what I'm saying? With your tarot card reading and your sorcery and your gay witchcraft. You know what I'm saying? So, man, get off the air and stop blaspheming God and teaching the children of God your ways. You know what I'm saying? Devil is what I call him. You know what I'm saying? Mocking God, giggling and all that shit. You know, tarot card reading, man. You know, being a being a tarot card reader, you know what I'm saying? It's not a bad thing. I'm not going to say it's ungodly because it, it teaches more than the church was teaching and the synagogue was teaching. And the synagogue and the church really wasn't teaching. They was just judging and accusing. They was the sinners. You know what I'm saying? And Psalms 1 to teach you all about them. They was the righteous that God knew about. And they righteousness was ungodly and devilish righteousness. You know what I'm saying? So... You know, a devil can't teach you against a devil because he'll tear his kingdom down. And then he'll try to follow God and mess up God's kingdom. 
because he had to tear the kingdom, the, devil, the devil's kingdom down. The devil gonna follow you till you die and become dust that he eat. And then you go back to God as the spirit. Then you'll get all them gifts. Hey everybody, welcome back you to the channel. Feminine Light Tarot here. Oh my God, I look very, very light skinned with this dark black hair, but it is what it is. This Understand this, you can't be taught by God while you living and then be born again and remember what you was taught. The only people do that is God and the elite. And I ain't gonna say no damn 144,000. The elite ain't no damn 144,000. The elite is family and, and it's a close family. And it's got offices, officers, and you know god is the head you know what i'm saying and his family members in that family but right now you know i'm missing a wife you know i'm missing eve and adam me you know what i'm saying my sons and stuff and my daughters you know adam and eve's and you know all that but then like i say you got to be born again you know what i'm saying to know what you know and stay alive forever. Cause I can't trust your flesh to be to just automatically receive wisdom from God to to know and not die. Cause you'll forever think you're gonna die. Cause you're getting older and older and your gray hairs showing you're getting more gray hairs since God is getting on that ass, you're getting more gray hairs every day. You know what I'm saying? I ain't dying it, I guess. When you was worried about showing out in front of the people, you was dying your hair. But then when God started getting on that ass and shaming that ass, you stopped trying to look good and start trying to teach something. Trying to teach against looking good. You know what I'm saying? Sacrifice of worship. Man, shit, man. You can't sacrifice worship. You you don't sacrifice shit. You just love and give and be graceful and merciful. And sacrifice ain't what I want. I want mercy, not sacrifice. God, dog. And then you say, desire. God desires <laughs> mercy and grace. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Instead of sacrifice, he desires mercy and grace and won't sacrifice. He sit your ass down. No teaching ass dude. I told you, you're a reprobate mind. You got a reprobate mind. It can't be changed, man. It can't be changed. Only God can change your mind, Creflo. And he ain't going to do that if you don't repent. And that's apologize to Adam and Eve, your mom and daddy. And the rest of Abraham and everybody who you found fault with in that Bible. And you corrected like you could have did it better. And wouldn't have got fooled your damn self. And, you know, you could have been Adam. And got tricked your damn self. You know what I'm saying? But then, you, you I guess you would have wanted people to talk about you all the time. And say that you disobeyed God and lie and say you was the cause of the fall. When all it was was a devil talking to him. You can't defile nothing by eating it. You can only defile it by talking to it. And you talk to a group of people, you can defile the whole world talking to them. A thousand people at a time by making a YouTube video talking about the sacrifice of worship. When God says, I don't want sacrifice. I want mercy, not no damn sacrifice. I don't sacrifice worship. <laughs> Love is worship. Thanksgiving is worship. God, dog. Ooh. Man, God, dog. Excess belly fat can increase the risk of heart disease and heart attacks, high blood pressure and stroke. Add this breakthrough discovery to your bedtime routine, and you will instantly turbocharge your metabolism by 450 energy or whatever. But you had the power, all right? You really got the juice, okay? Because <laughs> now they're stuck. 
or they attract, okay? Somebody like, damn, okay. That's what I'm hearing. Somebody say, damn, yeah. Somebody feel like a dumbass. Somebody didn't know you was a high priestess, or they didn't know you know about the occult things here. Uh, somebody may have didn't know something. I don't know because high priestess came in the reverse. Okay, this person feel like a dumbass. They feel like they made too many mistakes. Okay, yeah. Time's up. It's in God's hands. Yeah, so whatever contract is over, yeah, something is never coming back. Return to sender. Okay, absolutely. Something backfired on somebody. Okay. Yeah, so whoever somebody was attacking, they said, stop fucking playing with me. So somebody already knew somebody was going to attack them, and they was just waiting. Okay, or they court an attack or something like that. That's what I'm hearing. And somebody saying, stop fucking playing with me, high priestess. Okay, because they're high priestess. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so somebody might have thought you were sweet. See, but the thing is, it's like, I'm on what you on. Whoever somebody, whoever you are, it's like, I'm on what you on. What we on? What we doing? Because somebody didn't expect this because they thought you were sweet. Yeah, now they know. That you want what they want. Yeah. They're enlightened. <laughs> I cannot make this shit up. Somebody is on what you on. It's like we if you we on whatever what you on. Whatever you want, I'm on. It's rules to this. So you didn't break a rule. If somebody tried to uh cause some sort of havoc or disarray in your energy and you protected yourself, you had every right to protect yourself. Absolutely. They never saw this shit coming. This is some sort of supernatural shit. This person that they are experiencing right now, okay? They like, this some fucking shit, okay? Yeah, because it's free will. If somebody was trying to take your free will away, it's a so wait. Yeah, he was trying to steal right out of my own mouth. You know what I'm saying? Right out of God's mouth, he was trying to steal it by praying in the name of Jesus that I would give him what Adam had just spoken. Man, I say, man, listen to this witchcraft, man. Shit, I know what I'm doing. This is Uncle Pitt. You know what I'm so saying? Go. Not in 2023. The fuck? Somebody gonna learn today. <laughs> if somebody trying to take your free will, somebody trying to control you in any kind of way, it's a no-go. Somebody is a free spirit, okay? So you do what the fuck you want kind of energy, okay? So this person is in despair now. They could get it fired, okay? Let's see. What else there? What is this? <laughs> I cannot make it up, yo. I can't. I cannot make this shit up. Somebody is like, oh my God. They know they fucked up. Okay. Somebody know you want to recover from something or you recovering from something or whatever. All right. And they was hoping now they hoping that you show them empathy or I'm sorry, energy. Burr. Yeah, and they calling for help now, okay? Because this, you not whatever whoever this is, you wipe this motherfucker out. Whoever this hunter is, because they're a mortal, they're a mortal being. You're immortal collective, okay? Um, whoever this mortal is, okay, they could be scared for their life kind of energy. I don't know what they was planning or plotting or saying for you, whatever. They was aggressively tracking you, stalking you, hunter ass energy. Yeah, because they they messed up. Yeah, outsider energy. They calling for help right now. They like, oh my God, okay. What the fuck? Yeah. They wish they would have known. Yeah, somebody wish they would have known something here, okay? Damn. Somebody may have tried to use you as a sacrifice. They fucked up. Because this ain't the fuck that, you hear me? I can't exactly. This was never that. This is what this person know. They know now, Okay. They know now. Enlightenment. Yeah. They know not to do. What to do and what not to do to my collective. Okay. Put that light on there. Bam. Okay. Mm-mm. Because this was never that. You, you know, and, uh, sister, I love you. 
You know what I'm saying? I love what you're doing. I love how you put your words and everything. But that other guy, you know, that gay dude, you know, and I ain't calling every man gay. But I don't need men reading no damn tarot cards. You know what I'm saying? Not no men reading tarot cards. I really don't need no men preaching. If anything, I, I'd get a woman to preach and teach the kids Bible study. But not Bible study because that's basic instruction before leaving earth. That's going backwards. We've been gone from there 2,023 years ago. Six days and 2,023 2020, years, six days and six hours and ten minutes. And some seconds. You know what I'm saying? We was gone. Hid in God, in Christ, in heaven. Having. Like we gonna be having, like we was having then. Shit. And that tarot card reader was out the way, man. Trying to talk about it was a cup of zero love. God was offering a cup of zero love. All that we is is love. You supposed to be love, not trying to start no war with hate and violence. You know what I'm saying? With tarot cards. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, I love this, you know, my girl right here. And I love her tarot card reading. And I love some others' tarot card reading. But it's some evil-ass tarot card reading that's devilish. And, and gonna be in hell with the devil. And he in there now. Locked back up. Got locked back up like 2020. I think it was uh, uh, 2009, you know, we had the war with Magog and Gog and Magog, and then that was just God of God, and, and uh, mighty angels, God of gods, you know what I'm saying, working together against all evil, but we left 2,023 years ago. And they can't even put their hand on us. Because like she say, we immortal. They mortals. They just flesh. Till they die and are born again and we get the spirit back. And the dust get ate up by that snake shit. So, uh, yeah, happy hunting collective. Love conquers all, absolutely, okay? And you are held in high honor. It's like, yeah, I'm sweet, but I am held in high honor, so don't you ever fucking forget it, okay? It's like, you're a sweetheart, but don't play with you. Yeah, somebody was trying to connect too deeply to you or primal law, whatever the fuck somebody was trying to do, child. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. They should have showed more discipline here because somebody ancestors is on their ass, okay? At this time, and they're enlightening that, oh, shit. Oh shit. It's like oh shit. That's how somebody is saying this right now. Oh shit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the phase is gonna come to the end here, okay? Absolutely with somebody that was being childish, okay. They were being very childish. Cause they wanted to control your will, is what I'm hearing. Like what? They all in their feelings. Yeah, all in their feelings trying to control your will. What? Oh, fuck. It's really happening here. Bruh? Okay. <laughs> fuck. Fuck wrong with people. Hmm. I don't know. Man, okay, this was never that. The fuck they got their okay? mind messed Trick or treat, up. Bitch. They got yeah, now they bonded to some shit. They get cuffing season. Somebody seeing things your way now or something like that, child. That you was protecting yourself or you protected yourself from somebody that was being extremely sub uh, stubborn. Now they're bonded to something here. Because you're very protective over your heart. Everything that you love or just yourself. Alright. You was not playing. Okay. So you could be a fierce ass energy. You could be a fire sign female. Or you just got fire in your chart somewhere. Or you just like you not playing. Okay. Fiery energy. That's what I'm picking up on. No means no. Okay. Period. The fuck. What else, spirit? Yeah, you going to grow from a situation here? You being guarded here? You going to grow from this situation here? Yeah, because somebody going to have to leave it behind. The skeletons is out. Somebody got a reading done in that. They break a point. All right? Like, oh, my gosh. Something's becoming too much to bear. They can't take it no more. They can't do this or something. Um, 
What else you gonna grow from this situation? Collective, all right, yeah. Because whoever the childish person is, uh huh, is trapped now in their own energy, copycat his energy, try and mock everything you do. Their life is a projection of the energy they've been putting out. So now they all in their feelings because they was being childish and they know it. All right, absolutely, because their manifestation is within reach here. Or yours is somebody was trying to catfish you so you could choose this up here. A lot of conflict is going on. They confuse how the fuck did you figure this out? You're a high priestess, that's why. Yeah, the grass was only greener because it was fake. For this childish person, they thought it was sweet. Like I said, that grass was greener. They thought it was sweet. They thought you was sweet collected. They thought this was gonna be easy cakewalk. You know, I got a little bit of everything everybody got. I got everything of everything everybody got. I can't say I got a little bit of everything y'all got, but I got everything everybody got because I was everybody every time everybody lived. The whole 100% of everybody, 100% every time you live. Love is God, and God is love. And I make love when I make you. But now, the devil, he do get in kids as they get taught wrong, treated bad, and get grown. Treating others bad. But we getting rid of the devil today. And I'm going to be sad. But all evil going to scat today. This day. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> Somebody could be getting arrested or they going to purgatory for this bullshit. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because you was being guided. Christmas here could be significant. You were being guided by your ancestors here. Yeah. And somebody was sending you, whoever this was that was sending you the evil eye doing black magic. Mm. 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 Okay. Mm. Hiding from their true self, hiding who he was, or whatever, trying to astro project to your energy. They got they got trapped doing that shit. They got fucked up. Somebody going to purgatory for doing this dumb shit. Mm-hmm. Doing black magic, trying to blackmail you, they bonded to a situation now. Man, what right? Whoever these people was working to And if you don't know what purgatory mean, if you don't know tarot card reading or spiritual terms. Uh, uh, what she just meant was purgatory is simply an earthling that didn't accept the spiritual, an earthling that didn't accept Christ, an earthling that didn't accept daddy, an earthling that don't wear daddy's name. <laughs> like I say, I prayed and said, daddy, keep them through your own name them that you have given me because I knew the deception of the world you know what I'm saying they judging and accusing I knew the deception of the world so keep them in your name them that you have given me now I understand and I'm not mad no more Jesus because I used to wonder why in the world did Jesus say I'm not praying for the world I'm just praying for them that you gave me. Now I know, son. And I'm sorry I ever judged your judgment. Because that meant to me, you know, what you said later. And that was they going to hate you because they hated me first. And saying I'm praying for them and not for those of the world was the correct way of saying that to keep the world out of heaven and only allow heaven to those that are Christ at my coming. Together with cuffing season, they're seeing through the fog what somebody was trying to manifest. They were trying, someone wasn't who they said they was to you. They was bullshit. You could have figured it out, okay? And cleared your energy. And this person thought this was that and it wasn't so i'm hearing come again okay so somebody like make it make sense somebody is upset right now whoever this person is yeah you're gonna grow from a situation collective yeah because somebody is trapped now eight of swords they powerless now they don't know what to do
Where is the bank? Here you go. Everybody got a message for the collective. Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's see. Okay. You don't know what a king of wands don't have to be. You could be this king of wands, okay? They was trying, okay? Damn, I heard <laughs> that's some shit I would say. Try your luck, buttercup. So somebody tried their luck. <laughs> yep. Confirmation with that uh notification. Somebody tried their luck and failed, honey. Lord. Yeah, something was on the illusion. Somebody was casting illusions over you as well as what I'm hearing. The devil. Yeah, they was doing black magic on your ass. They had wishful thinking. They can do this. Whatever this person was trying to do, all right? Okay? You could be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. It's pissed the fuck off. They made the shit right now. Mm-hmm. So they could have made an offer to the devil or it was trying to offer you to the devil, child. Yeah. Fuck the darkest was collective. You ain't never lying, offering God up to the devil for a sacrifice. Oh, man. And what, like the devil can breathe for us. Like I'm gonna allow the devil to breathe for us. Damn, man. That's a silly ass thought. Yeah, so we got the four of pentacles, ten of pentacles, and the ace of cups. So, this could be somebody family member or somebody in someone family they chose to do this here. There's somebody here, all right, before pentacles, somebody definitely tried to control somebody's happiness, somebody money, somebody life, period. Okay. Were they trying to hold somebody back from having the ten of pentacles and the ace of cups? How this coming towards you? Whoa, absolutely. You got a message. Somebody's heartbroken. Yeah, because they know something. Two of Pentacles, they juggle something, Eight of Pentacles, and they're under judgment here. Yeah. I feel like you're moving forward here. All right, because you chose another path between the swords. Okay. Yeah, so something is coming to a painful ending or something is over. What's the obstacle right now? Yeah, you walked away. That's the obstacle. Eight, ten, somebody could be walking away, King of Cups. Not King of Cups. King of Pentacles, somebody walked away here. From this King of Pentacles that are trying to cause illusions, you overcame something here. Because you, like I said, Queen of Wands, you was confident enough to be single or you was confident enough to take charge here, all right, of something here. All right, because somebody was trying to cause a delay or a contract. This Emperor, whoever this older gentleman is, whatever they pissed the fuck off, something is over. Somebody could have got sick here. Something is not moving at all, okay? Whoever this King of, Cups, King of Wands, King of Cups is that was doing this magic in secret here, all right? Whatever offer they was thinking they was going to get, they not getting or something like that. What is this um outcome here? Because you walked away collected. That's what I'm hearing. That's the outcome spirit, okay? The outcome is the Empress. Empress, lover's card. Whatever choice you made to move forward was the right choice. Because now something is too difficult here. Because the moon energy for this full moon. Somebody feel like like they said they made a mistake here. Because they tried to do something real quick. Or whatever. Three of cups. I feel like you really get some sort of victory or success here around this full moon. Yeah, this is something they did not see coming. Okay. Four of Pentacles, please. Four of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like you could have held back communicating something from communicating something. Yeah. So this person had the result to doing something impulsively. That's what caused some sort of imbalance. Wait a minute, sweetheart. About that tarot card reading, I'm not. I ain't got nothing against people being gay. You know what I'm saying? Now don't quote me wrong or put in my heart wrong on my love for gay people, because you know lust and love it just hand in hand, man. And 
we forgive stuff like that. We don't rate nobody on sex. Less is killing, stealing, and destroying, you know, of marriage, you know what I'm saying? Adultery and, and killing, stealing, and destroying in that kind of stuff, you know what I'm saying? And gossip and slander and messing up people's life like that, you know what I'm saying? But we don't need to, I don't have nothing against gays, but we don't need the gay community you know what I'm saying, the male gay community uh, getting into card reading and tarot card readers, you know what I'm saying, and that's like bringing religion into, you know, heaven. And, you know, just to talk to my sister here, please don't judge and accuse and, you know, religion, don't bring religion into the tarot card reading. I enjoy it, tell you the truth. Because it talks to us about, you know, us, love, and, you know, if it is problems out there, we hear it, you know what I'm saying? We, it's, 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 it's like whispering, hush, hush, you know what I'm saying, keeping secrets, you know what I'm saying? But like I say, you know what I'm saying, I ain't got nothing against gay men or nothing like that, that's their community. But then, I don't, I, I'm not going to allow religion to come up in this tarot card reading with gay men reading these tarot card reading and then like on Berean's show I hear a gay dude on Berean's show you could hear a gay man you know I'm not judging them but you could hear them you could hear it in their voice now I didn't had a friend you know that I'm not gonna judge everybody like I say because I had a friend that grew up with me and I don't know if he ever became sexually gay but his daddy was gay I mean God forgive me his daddy was not gay mama neither but both of them talk the same his daddy talked just like his mom, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, she talked like a real feminine woman, and his daddy was talking just like his mom, like they was kidding each other, feminine talking, but they was real nice family, you know what I'm saying? And Greg, you know, he, to me, he wasn't gay. And to my friends, he wasn't gay. To our community, he wasn't gay. So he had a girlfriend, I remember he was going with Tootie. We called her Tootie, that was her nickname. And he was going with her, that was his girlfriend. And he used to ride with me and my friends and talk shit with me and my friend. And he, he was just feminine. The reason I brought him up, because he was feminine. He came out the womb feminine. Kinda like, uh, like Boosie getting on uh, the basketball player about his son and allowing him to be feminine. You know what I'm saying? I forgot the player's name. You know what I'm saying? Oh, damn. It almost came up in my mind. Shit, damn. I, I like to get people's name and remember them because they mean. But uh, anyway, damn. And he married too, and I almost got the last name again. Oh, man. Come on now, daddy. You know me. Damn, I'm trying to think of you and your wife's name and the kid. Damn, I, I don't know the kid's name, but I know y'all's name. Damn, Gabrielle Union and her husband. Oh, you you know my name, Daddy. Oh, boy, come on now. Let me let me think about what I'm saying. But like I say, you know, I ain't got nothing against the gay community or, or gay men either. But then I'm not gonna have it being a religion in the tarot card reading this section. You know what I'm saying? Tarot card readers are mostly women. Uh, all women, uh, uh, mostly women, because I did hear a couple of men that I do trust, you know what I'm saying, and love and honor and all that good stuff, think righteous, and they was tarot card readers, so I ain't got nothing against a man tarot card reading, but <laughs> don't let me hear it in your voice, and then you up there talking about God is bringing a cup of no love, a cup with no love in it, you know, that's, that's, devaluing God, man, desiring God for the devil and trying to sacrifice a piece of God's love to the devil in his kingdom. Come on, man. Because this person was trying to, they had hidden dishonor. Alright, so you could have held back communication here from somebody. Yeah. So they tried to hurry up and do something because you wasn't saying nothing or you didn't say something or you wasn't talking to somebody. What the hell? Eight of Wands. Hmm. 
What's the Eight of Wands? Eight of Wands, please. Sign card. Ooh. Mm. And I guess by you holding back um, communication, something got exposed. All right. Or somebody got enlightened here. All right. That this emperor was protected or emperor could have been protecting somebody or something was protected because we got emperor it says protection and power and order and stability and somebody was mad with the devil energy that they got blocked because you walked away yeah somebody was restless here when it came to something i feel like because they know something about us reconciliation or some shit like that so they wanted to betray somebody here all right Due to their spiritual belief system about twin flames, they wanted to sabotage something here. They made an unwise choice here. Somebody could be feeling defeated. Yeah. Yeah, somebody could be feeling defeated. This emperor could be pissed off right now that something came at the same so in or you walked away or what. Yeah, also, somebody's pissed or was tempted here to take charge of something but you seen something something came to light about communication all right what's the devil one more for the devil the eight of swords yeah they mad yeah because they powerless now okay on this cancer full moon because it says cancer moon somebody's powerless now yeah they state is done five of swords they they are defeated Okay, somebody got defeated here because you actually traveled or you moved forward. Yeah. What is this um page of cups here coming towards you? Page of cups. What is this? Uh, Ace of cups. Okay. So this is love messages. All right. Loving yourself. So somebody might got the message that you loved yourself enough here. You could have other options or somebody juggled you or something like that. Yeah, because somebody was head hidden dishonor. They was really trying to cause drama for you, Queen of Swords, but you was closed off to partnering up with somebody, or you was closed off to dealing with somebody, or you was avoiding somebody here. You had the confidence to avoid somebody here. Somebody said you was avoiding them. What's the Ace of Cups? Because you loved yourself enough. Yeah. Uh huh. And I feel like uh, Ace of Cups to the Lovers card and the Three of Cups, Death card. Yeah, so there will be a celebration. Because something ended. You made the right choice. You chose to love yourself here. They got the message here. That something changed here. This could be somebody's friend. Okay. As well. They're under judgment for whatever they did in the past. I feel like they wish now they would have made some sort of offer here. Alright. And been realistic about trying to manipulate a situation. What's the three of cups? Because they tried to manipulate something. And you just walked away. Yeah. Seven of cups. I cannot make it up. <laughs> Somebody tried to manipulate something. They was only wishful thinking that, that they was going to get this victory and success or whatever. Because you chose to love yourself. And they got the message like, if you don't love yourself, you can't fuck with me. Or however this is resonating. Right? Yeah, we got the Queen of Pentacles here. There's no something changed here. They're pausing to review or somebody's under judgment for what they did in the past. or wish they did have in the past or whatever. When she say you don't love yourself, you can't fuck with me. She's saying, and for the kids' sake, you don't love yourself, you can't mess with me. That means if you don't love God, you don't love yourself because all y'all gods. And if you don't love God, you don't love yourself because you are love that's made love. The creator made love to make you a creator of love when you make love. You know what I'm saying? So if you don't love yourself, you can't mess with us. How come? Because we are love. Nothing less. Just too much of love. You know, we stick together too, man. It was the Eight of Cups. The obstacle is the Eight of Cups. Walking away. Hangman. Yeah. By you walking away, something just got stuck. Uh-huh. What's this? Yeah. While you walking away from something collected, something got stuck. Okay, with the hangman. 
you walked away because you were suspicious about something as well. The hangman is like you were suspicious about somebody. Something was off or something wasn't right. What's the hangman? Yeah, and I feel like you made a practical decision. Page of Pentacles here. All right, to take some sort of action here. All right, and the King of Wands got the message here that something backfired. All right, because you laid something to rest. Yeah. I'm here and I wanted power over you. Somebody wanted power over you. Yeah. That's right. That's the damn truth. King of Swords. But you made a practical decision to use your intuition or seek wise counsel. They know they missed the opportunity. Yeah, to cause some sort of imbalance. It's over with magic. Because you had already uh, was consciously aware they was doing magic. So they feel foolish now. Because they tried to come rushing in here. Right, they try to do something too quick here. Queen of Cups here, um, definitely see you self-sufficient and independent here. Um, and you were standing your ground here, or they should have avoided work working with somebody or partnering up with somebody, or you avoided working with somebody. Take it as a resume, y'all. Okay, yeah. So Empress Star card. So Empress, somebody wishes backfiring. Tower moment. Yeah, something I laid to rest. Is something is healing for you? So we got the Empress and the Star here. What's this um, Star please? Four of Swords, yeah. Something, ooh, look at that. Four of Swords, healing. Ten of Pentacles here. Something I laid the rest here with a family situation. I feel like somebody wished you was in the Five of Pentacles here. But you believed in yourself or you didn't give up, Empress. That's why you got good news. Alright, so whatever somebody was doing, no. Four of Swords here. Somebody also wished that you, they could have laid some money to rest or ended something for you. What's this Four of Swords? What's this? The hell is this? This is crazy, y'all. Four of Swords. Ooh, Chariot? Yes, honey. So it's forward movement here. Yeah, and that's divine timing right now. Something I laid the rest of you get to move forward full speed ahead. Okay, because that's your fate. Turning point for using your intuition here. So you can prepare to receive some sort of ending here. All right, there's some sort of insight here that you are going to be happy or joyful because you was consciously aware that somebody would not give up trying to do something to you, Empress. So you was you were aware of something is the reason why you won't be able to move forward, Empress. Wow. What's this um chariot here? One more for the chariot. So we got the King of Pentacles. Real getting realistic here. All right, slow and steady here. We got reconciliation, Queen of Swords. Yeah, it's ending up a difficult time. 10 10. Somebody try to drag something out even longer, but it's ending up a difficult time. You're moving forward here because you had structure and discipline here to take your time, okay, and not brush something. You paid attention, okay, to everything. We got E. Why? I feel so bad for what I've done. Job well done, okay. We got Pisces here, okay. Um, you figure something out collective, so job well done. All right. Um, unfinished business with an air sign. We got I. So somebody like, damn, ooh, ooh look at that. Look what it came out. So you could have been dealing with this spicy child. Um, somebody definitely was trying to do death spells on you. He mad as fuck because he couldn't end something for you. So Zaddy home, let him know. Yeah, new moon. This person been working on you since the new moon. Yes, they lied to you about everything. Yes, they lied. Something got to be made up to you this lifetime, child. And they was trying to end that shit. Mm-hmm. It's your time to enjoy. Period. Somebody was trying... A karmic male. Whoever this karmic male was trying to get you fired or put out here. Child. What the fuck? B. Okay. What the hell? Now this man is being watched. 333, three, three, because you're on the right path. It was a mission impossible. They've been caught. All right, you could be this man. You could be this karmic person, or you know this karmic person. It could be a Pisces. That's the only sign that came out. We got O. Okay. Child, people crazy. We got a Capricorn. We got you. 222, balance and harmony is being restored in every area of your life. They didn't mean what they said. X. 
I'm salty as fuck. So a Capricorn or a Pisces is salty as fuck. Yeah, because they was trying what? They was trying to poison you? <laughs> Child, it says that you are uh your life purpose and your wishes are in full alignment here. All right, because you're on the path to light collective. So whatever hex and curse or whatever they was trying to do to you, it backfired on them. This energy vampire, okay? You could be a Capricorn or a Pisces, or this person is a Capricorn or a Pisces. Let's get in this backfire. Shout out. Yeah, so expect positive changes. Somebody is uh, selfish about you. They couldn't help it here. Okay. Can you unblock me, please? So you could be blocking somebody from your energy here. So your child's father know they messed up here, or they failed you, and they sorry. All right, fire sign. You could be a fire sign. They could be a fire sign. Shit is this, huh. Well, I'll be <laughs> okay. Well, I'll be. So, what the hell? Mm -hmm. What the hell is this? Spirit, what is the message, please? Holy Spirit, divine spirit. Yeah, I want to be with you so bad. We got a black man or a woman here. Karma. Just getting karma. They can't believe they messed this up. Somebody with a black car, a Leo, and a karmic woman on the full moon. I told you something is the fuck over here. Somebody about to ghost you, okay? Because that shit backfired horribly. They was not expecting this. Yeah, you going through a body transformation. Why they can't find somebody like you? Somebody was planning on telling you something here, but... They was afraid about what you was going to say here. Now somebody all in their head and they feelings right now. Taurus. We got QRS and T. <clears throat> yeah, they mad because you made the right choice. We got B. He was trying to do black magic on you. Yeah, you made the right choice. Whatever choice you made was the right one for that kid. They like, get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Return to center times 10. My game's backfire Friday. That's the new moon. I mean, that's the full moon Friday. <sighs> yeah, this Latin man or woman was low vibrational. Energy vampire. John, Empress. Yeah, they were trying to vamp off you, Empress. You single. Somebody knew you was single here. We got 555. Five, five. All of your efforts are paying off. Abundance is yours to live and experience. Open up your heart and your mind to receive the blessings that's being offered to you here. Somebody want to pull up on you here. All right. They was going to rob you or some shit like that. Or they was planning to a Capricorn a year ago. What? I can't get over you at all. Child. So somebody was trying to set you up. Motherfucker. Motherfucker. Okay. Yeah. Karmic metal. No, you got a divine bodyguard. They know this was never that now. Yeah, your divine bodyguard said your pay raises are safe. He was trying to set her up in the fucking reverse. No, they will not on the full moon, Pisces. Okay, all them evil eyes went blind Sunday. Ooh. Strong type so Somebody out of the pocket, y'all. They out of pocket. Mm. He was just trifling. Right when I say, yeah, this person want to be you. They your enemy. They envy you. Somebody want to visit you in your dreams on a Tuesday. I don't love her. I want to be with you. The feds is watching a cancer, a white man or a woman. The magic is backfiring times 10, 24 hours. Somebody like you because you're not easy because he was going to set your ass up here and they was going to get some money mm -mm. or they thought they was going to get some money from you or whatever. Child, this is sick. Mm -mm. Look at that. So somebody physically or verbally abusive can't stop missing you. They about to learn a hard lesson. They saw it as fuck. That song is about you or they wrote about you here because you was never alone. Okay. We got old love. I want to be with you so bad. Okay. So we got Aquarius here. I'm not single, new love, red card. Somebody need a bad choice. U, Y, and Z. 
five years ago. Yeah. Unfinished business with a water sign inverted. A, B, C, A, B. We got Libra. Destiny. So finally, Libra, you're going towards your destiny. This is over. Alright, somebody call me going towards your destiny. This shit is done. Okay, yeah, and you are protected. Because you are connected to the all that is and all that will ever be. Wednesday, somebody figure that shit out. High priestess, that's that high priestess energy. Okay, yeah, this narcissist was trying to be patient here. They ain't want to let your ass go here, but they ain't got a fucking choice, okay? Yeah, so they were trying to copy your energy or whatever. We got Z. Yeah, this narcissist was trying to hide. Look at this shit. I asked my friend to watch you, but they fell in love with you, and they was a narcissist, and they had hidden plans and shit. This double narcissist. Like, what the fuck is this? Disgusting. Be patient. They lost their patience. So they lost their cool and they started doing all types of evil eye, black magic and shit like that on you because you wasn't cooperating. You ain't do what they said. Fuck you. Okay? That's how we feel. You know, we don't do what nobody say, but you know what I'm saying? <laughs> we follow the law. Okay? Karmic law. It's like, but, um, yeah, y'all, I hope this helped y'all. Like, congratulations. Let's get a message from Archangel Michael. What do you want to say about this? Because these motherfuckers hate y'all fucked up. They hate everybody. Like, if you involved in this, they hate y'all fucked up. This full moon, you will be liberated. You will be moving forward. And your ancestors said, I wish a bitch would. You already got your inheritance. Okay? Stop playing with her. Or him. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, you could be happy now. They like, go ahead and start celebrating right now, okay? You can be happy right the fuck now that you made the right choice. All right, come on, Archangel Michael. What's the message here? Let's see what he got to say here. I, listen, he not laughing at these motherfucking clowns, okay? Sense of humor, okay? He says, thank you for helping me see the humor in this situation. So I can lovingly laugh at human nature, <laughs> I am willing to view my experience in a new light in order to attract love and healing energy. So, yeah, view, just laugh at the situation, okay, because you're safe and you're protected. Archangel Michael is wishing a bitch would, okay, and um, you are safe. And just laugh at the situation. I, I, that was cute. Nice try okay, kind of energy, okay? Yeah, yeah, it says believe and trust. Before you go to sleep tonight, say, Archangel Michael, please enter my dreams and replace fear in, with faith and trust. It says, let me be filled with strength, courage, and confidence. All right? That's some beautiful ass shit. All right? Because you leaning on God and the angels for support. So, make it make sense. So, somebody ain't got to, they don't even have a chance collective. So, you continue to lean on God and your angels for your support and you will always, always be supported. Have a blessed day.
sorry about that, y'all. I fell asleep. Time for me to give me a nap.